Hello good day viewers, still on graph transformations, in our previous lesson we have learned how to shift a graph, either vertically or horizontally, but in this tutorial we are going to learn how to compress or stretch a graph. And we are given three different functions, x squared, x to the power of 3 and 1 divided by x. And in our previous lesson I have shown you the graph of all of these three functions. And we are asked to apply this transformation on these functions. So I'm going to pick one, which is x squared, and apply this transformation because you have seen how to construct graph of x to the power of 3 and this rational function 1 divided by x. And it is applicable for all. Um, but before we start, you can see that this is not a stretch, no compress. They are all reflections, so let's just kick them away. So now we have eight transformations, and you can see they are somehow similar. Therefore, I'm going to pick only four out of them. Pick one here, pick one here, they are all internal changes. Then let me pick this one which is an external change and likewise this one. And we are all going to apply these four transformations on x squared. First of all, we are going to construct the graph of x to the power of 2. Alright, now I have y and x axis. We want to construct the graph of f of x equal to x squared or you can call it y equal to x squared all the same all right what do we need to do first we need to locate y intercept y intercept is the value of y when x is zero the moment you set x equal to zero here you have zero squared which is zero therefore the curve will pass through origin which is zero right so i'm going to place a point here so let me pick one two two points let me take negative one negative 2 to the other side so what happened if the value of x is 1 we have 1 squared which is 1 therefore y is 1 when x is 1 so this is where we have y equal to 1 you place a point right here on that one then when x is equal to 2 we have 2 squared to be equal to 4 therefore we have 1 2 3 4 you place a point here which means that y equal to 4 at this point uh, let's move to the left hand side when x is negative 1 the moment is squared negative 1 you're going to obtain positive 1 therefore we have a point right here the same thing square negative 2 you have positive 4 we have a point here so now let us connect all of these points together so roughly this is the graph of x squared and we are going to use this molar graph to transform all of these four other different transformations uh, we can do it on the same graph, but I don't want to do that. Let me do it separately. Let me start with uh, a part, which is f of 2x. Let me do it to the right-hand side. All right, now that we have x and y axis, remember that we wish to construct the graph of f of 2x, which means wherever you have x, you should replace it with 2x. So we have x here. If you replace it with 2x, you have 2x squared. Therefore, the function we would like to construct is a graph of y equal to 2x whole squared. Instead of x squared, now we have 2x squared. This is an internal change that only affects the coordinates of x, x coordinates. While y coordinates will remain constant because this effect is only on x. Alright, what does this mean? It means that you should take all the x coordinates and divide them by 2. Remember in our previous lesson I told you, you should always divide x coordinates with this coefficient, whether it is fraction or a whole number. It doesn't matter. All right, let's concentrate on the Mother function. Remember that the coordinate here is what? 1, 1, for which x is 1 and y is also 1. Then remember here we have x equal to 2 and y equal to 4. So the 4 will remain constant, but the effect will be on this 2. The same thing here, this one will remain constant, but the effect is going to be on this x coordinate. And here to the left hand side, we have a coordinate negative 1, 1, and here we have negative 2, 4. So let's start with the origin. You know, origin is 0, 0. The moment you take 0 and divide it by 2, it will remain 0. Therefore, the origin will remain the same. Then if you come here, the moment you divide 1 by 2, because we are going to divide all of them by 2, remember, 
it will be what 0 0.5 so instead of this it will shift down to this position but remember y coordinate will not change so it will remain under one can you see that 0 0.5 under one that's what you should know then you move to the top where we have two once you divide two by two you have one so under here very shallow can you see that the graph is going to be compressed under one right here but four will not change one two three four you have a point right here do the same thing to the left hand side once you divide negative one by two you have negative 0 0.5 somewhere here but y coordinate which is one will remain one then on that two, if you divide two by two, you have one, which is negative one. So it should be somewhere here, negative one. But on that four again, it will be here. So once you connect the points together, let's do that. So this is the graph of what? Two X squared. Just compare this graph to this graph. You can see that it was the original graph that has been compressed. So this is a compression like this an arrow here that compresses the graph to come closer to y axis right so this is all about a graph of 2x whole squared now let us take this one all right so now we are going to construct a graph of f of 1 over 2x so instead of x we are going to replace it with 1 over 2x so the graph will be what y equal to 1 over 2x whole squared this is also an effect on x coordinates so we're going to take every single x coordinate and divide it by 1 over 2 and the moment you divide any number by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying that number by the reciprocal of that fraction and the reciprocal of 1 over 2 is 2 so it's like we are going to multiply every single value i think let us do it step by step um if you divide 0 by 1 over 2, it will remain 0. Therefore, the y-intercept will remain the same at origin. Then coming down here, you take 1. Remember, it is an effect on, on x-coordinate. 1, you divide 1 by 1 over 2. This is the same thing as 1 uh, divided by 1 over 2, right? And this is what? 1 times 2 over 1. Can you see that? You can change it to multiplication and take reciprocal which is going to give us what? 2. Therefore, instead of this, it is going to move down to the position where you have 2, right? So you see 1, it is now here. But remember that y coordinate will not change. So still under 1. Then what happened to 2? If you multiply 2 by 2, it is going to become 4 because if you divide 2 by 1 over 2, it's like multiplying 2 by 2 it will fall under 4 and this is exactly where you have 4 this is 4 this is 2 right but it will still be under 4 because y coordinate will not change so you count 4 to the top 1 2 3 4 you have a point here do the same thing and one interesting thing about quadratic graphs it has a line of symmetry if you observe this is our line of symmetry you can just copy uh, the points you have to the right hand side towards the left hand side let's just copy them or if you like you can continue doing the same process can you see from y axis you count one two you meet another point you can count it to the left hand side one two you have a point right here then do the same thing to the top you can see one two three four one two three four you have a point right here so now we are free to connect all of these points together so this is the graph of y equal to 1 over 2 x whole squared what do you observe between the mother graph and this graph a stretch has taken place because the graph has been expanded towards this side and the other side so this is what stretch so the moment you see a fraction between 0 to 1 it is going to stretch the graph definitely and when you see a whole number it is going to what compress the graph so this is all about uh, compress and stretch along x-axis. Now let us see how this graph can be stretched and compressed along y-axis. By taking, uh, let's take this one first, which is 
2 times f of x. So we have 2 times f of x. But remember that f of x is what? x squared. So this implies that we are going to construct a graph of y equal to 2 times what? x squared. Because f of x is what? x squared. But this is an effect on y because f of x is equal to y. So every single y coordinate will have to be multiplied by 2. That's what you should know. So let's start here. Uh, this is the Mother graph. It is always going to be our reference. So let's start with the origin 0, 0. If you multiply y coordinate which is 0 by 2, it's still going to be 0. So it will not change. We have it at origin. Then we move to the right hand side. You see we have 1 for x and 1 for y. That 1 for y is what you have to multiply by 2. If you multiply 1 by 2, it becomes 2. So the y coordinate will be at 2, but x will remain where it is. That is what you should know. So we have 1 here for x, but 1 for y, that 1, which is y coordinate, will be multiplied by 2. So instead of here, you're going to shift it to the top on that 2, because this is 2, right? Then on that 2 for x, because this is 1, this is 2. Then on that 2, remember, what do we have? On that 2, we have 4. But the 4 will now be multiplied by 2 to become 8. So now let us count 8 on that 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Can you see that? You can copy the rest of the points to the left-hand side if you like. Otherwise, you can do the same process. We have a point here because you have to count 2, 2, right? Then here we have 1, 1. So the point will be here. All you have to do is to connect all of these points together. All right. Now, this is the graph we have. If you observe or you relate this graph with the original graph, a stretch has taken place vertically because you can see this is where it stops at 4. But finally, we have another graph which stops at what? 8. So this graph has been stretched. And now let us take the last one which is also an effect on y-axis, which is this one. So in this case, we are going to divide every single value of y, or y coordinate, by 2. So we have 1 over 2 times f of x. All right. So here we want to construct a graph of 1 over 2 times f of x, which implies that we have y equal to 1 over 2. f of x is x squared. So every single y coordinate will be multiplied by a half which is the same thing as dividing by two so let's go back to the original graph which is the mother graph let's start here the origin which is 0 comma 0 the moment you divide 0 by 2 you're still going to get 0 so we have a point right here then we have 1 comma 1 which is this one but our main goal is on y coordinate uh, once you divide it by 2, you have it to be 0 0.5, but the x coordinate will remain where it is. So since x coordinate is not changing, this is where it is under 1. But remember that 1 is here. Once you divide it by 2, it becomes half, halfway. So you have a point here under 0 0.5. Then we move to the top under 2. Under 2, we have 4, right? Once we divide 4 by 2, you have 2. So on that 2, this is 2. You have 4. You divide 4 by 2, you have 2. So 1, 2. You have a point here. You can copy the rest to the left-hand side. You have another one here and uh, another one right here. So now let us connect all of these points. All right. So roughly, this is the graph of y equal to 1 over 2x squared. And if you compare this graph to the original one, a compress has taken place because you can see it is now more shorter compared to the original one. And this compress is like this towards y axis. That is a vertical compress, right? Not horizontal because the effect is on y. And I think this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.